Hello and welcome to Paper Play with Julie K. Welcome crafty friends. Thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video. Today I thought I would pop on and share with you this beautiful bridal train that was thrifted a while ago. I did take the appliques and lace off of it along with making a number of circular singe flowers from the material. Can you guess how many appliques, yards of lace and flowers I created from this bridal train? So I was able to take apart the bridal train and I created a ton of flowers, the singe circle flowers from them. I also walked away with a lot of lace and appliques and I'm going to show you guys the different appliques that were part of the bridal train. Here's the largest one that I've taken off and I was able to um, take off 40 of these so I got a total of 40. These little ones right here, the little appliques, there was 19 and I believe there was one more on the original dress but Again, there was one applique cut out of it already, or not the dress, but the bridal train um, when it was purchased, and it looked like about this size. So I think originally there would have been 20 appliques on that bridal train, but again, I only had 19 because one was missing when it was purchased. And then there was these long appliques, and there was a total of eight of those. And so here's the total box of the appliques that I took off of that bridal train. I also have this box that I took off of the bridal train and this is the lace that's at the bottom of the dress, the bridal trim, and the total yardage that I pulled off was a little bit over nine yards of this lace. So you can see right here, that's the nine yards. And then there was a lot of like, um, appliques like what I just showed you at the beginning of the video but they were sewed together and so when I decided on these ones I wasn't going to snip them apart I thought it might be better to um, leave them until I was going to snip them apart and use them on projects so I will just kind of show you um, real quick on camera and I probably should have chose a different background um, because the white on white that I know is really tough so I'm, I apologize for that but you can see this one. This one was a little bit smaller of one that I took off. Here is another one and this one's kind of long. Um, and again these were all kind of sewed together so I'm just going to to use them when I snip them apart on projects so I just decided to leave them long. And then there's a little bit more of that bridal lace that was the bottom part of the lace that was attached on here. So you can kind of see there's quite a bit just in this one right here. So I had that that I took off. Here's another one very similar to what I just showed you guys. It was just crazy how much lace and appliques that there were on this bridal train. So I had another one like that. And then here's another little piece. This one was kind of more, I think, in the middle of the train. And I don't, I'll try and zoom out a little bit, but I don't think I can 100% zoom out. But I think you guys are kind of seeing how much lace. And then this right here was part of the bottom of the, the bridal lace trim that was at the bottom. But you can kind of see that one's like another huge one. And these ones, again, were kind of sewed together. So I chose not to cut them off where I did take out all the individual ones. And then um, the last one, the last bit of lace was this piece. And again, you can kind of see this piece was all interconnected you know, some really pretty appliques and then a little bit more of that, that bridal lace was attached to this one also. But as you can see, they were kind of sewed together. So again, I chose not to, to take this one apart. Again, right here, you can see it was sewed onto this little applique that, and all these pieces are 
connected. So I will just take them apart when I work on projects. Um, so there was quite a bit that I got in laces and appliques from that dress. And then of course, because we don't wanna waste our material when we take apart a wedding dress or a wedding train like I did, I decided to just sit down and make as many flowers as I could from all of the scraps of the material. There was like no good like yardage because there were so many appliques on this one. So I had lots of little like scrap pieces of fabric, um, little square pieces, you know, kind of like this. Um, this is another bridal train that I'm taking apart right now. So what I ended up doing is just creating these circle singed type flowers. And I do have a tutorial on my channel for these. So I will include that in the description box and also at the end of the video if you want to actually watch how you put together some of these. And so these are all of the ones that I went ahead and added bling to the middle. And if you watch my tutorial video, I think I went through um, most of these that I had, had made on that one. But you can kind of see the different ones that I made. And then these ones I chose, instead of putting bling in the middle, I decided to put little pearls. I sewed them in. And so all the material on here, the satin, the poly satin material, that is from the wedding dress. The other layers just came from bits and pieces I had in my stash. I have lace in there. I have some organza, eyelash trim. There's some tulle from an old wedding dress that I'm still using up. So, um, I had all these that I made and then I also, these are the ones that I made that I didn't put centers in. I probably would have ran out of bling if I would have put centers in all of these. Um, so I just put them in this fun little bowl in my craft room. And when I use, make projects now, I'll already have the flowers made and all I have to do is add centers. Like um, this was a pretty little flower that I got from Angel Dreams Crafts a long time ago. So I thought that would make a pretty center on some too, along with the bling or the pearls. And I was able to make a total of 153 flowers. So I made 153 flowers from that bridal train. And that's just the train. So I can't even imagine what the dress would have looked like. Again, it was just the bridal train that my mom thrifted for me. And I'm really happy with how much I received from the bridal train. It did take me probably four or five days just to take off the appliques from the the dress and that was like maybe th in three hour sessions I would do it at night while I watch tv with my husband so that's how long it took to take off just the appliques and the lace from the dress and I did use a seam ripper for that and then the flowers I think <laughs> Um, took me uh, several weeks to do. What I would do is every time I walked into the craft room, which I would sit down for an hour or hour and a half of my crafting time, and I would just put together flowers. I kind of did it in a stage where um, I just cut out all the circles from the material. Another day I cut out all of the middle layers, the laces and the trims and the organza that I added to them. And then another day I singed everything. And then again, several days in the evening when I was watching TV with my husband, I would just sew the layers together. Um, so it did take a little bit. My husband asked me at the end of it if it was all worth it because it, he, you know, he saw me, you know, taking apart everything, creating all the flowers. And I said, for me, it was worth it. Again, my mom only paid $2 for that bridal train. So I thought it was worth it. Obviously my time's worth something too, but just to have all these fun little things and it gave me a fun project to do. And now I have a ton of different appliques and lace that I'll be able to use in future projects and also flowers that I will be able to use myself or give out in Happy Mail. And so I'm just kind of curious what you guys thought, if you thought that that um, bridal train was worth the $2 that my mom thrifted and what I received from it. And then also because I'm feeling generous today, if you guys do leave a comment, I am going to be giving away um, 
a couple of the little appliques that I took off of the dress and I will also include a couple of flowers, maybe a couple with bling and a couple with without bling that you can add your own centers to. So if you are interested in this giveaway, make sure you leave a comment below in the description box and I will enter you. Everyone that leaves a comment is eligible as long as I can mail it to your country or your state, I'm in the US. And then also, of course, I'm asking that everybody be over 18 years of age. And also, it'd be really nice if you guys um, subscribe to my channel, if you aren't already. And so I think that's all my rules, but I'll put them in the description box so you guys can, um, can read them all fully if you want. And let's just say, uh, I'll leave this open for maybe two weeks after the video goes up. So sometime after the two weeks when my video is up, I will ha make an announcement of who I am giving a little package to. So again, leave a comment if you're interested in entering the giveaway. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.